Alright. Lunch has been had. So... We shall continue. It may not be in exactly the best mindset since I just now ate lunch. But... I'll try and push through anyway. Anything around here? I'll probably read this terminal before we do Puzzle 8. Of course, don't want to explore, you know, because why not? Interesting. Alright, where is that terminal? Over there. Here we are. Is that a frog? Probably. There is a kind of peace here in the desert. A perfect silence. This is a dead place. More dead than almost anywhere else on Earth. If the ground could have a personality, it would be malevolent. But as I said before, all this, in some sense, does not exist at all. It does not hate us. It is simply the opposite of everything that life requires. When you sit in the dunes and you hear only the wind and nothing else at all, and all the complexities of civilization fade away, you truly understand that spiritual peace is a great evil, a kind of shallow banality that we must always strive against. It is spiritual excitement and enthusiasm which sustain our humanity. Spiritual peace is a vile and cowardly surrender to oblivion. Yep, many interesting viewpoints. Alright, puzzle number eight. Preliminary. See, this time we can't reach through the bars to, to touch these, so I'm pretty sure it was unintended the other time we were able to do it. Thankfully, we did not do it in an unintended way last time. Alright, let's see what this does for us. Yeah, that's about what I expected, to be honest. Blue inside for this one, okay. Interesting. Oh, that's the wrong way. I wonder, how does this look? Okay, this looks just as dumb as it looks in first person, okay. <laughs> It's not- That's a little bit annoying that it's that sensitive like that. I wonder... Yeah, that's... that's the struggle, isn't it? Let's try this again, then.
can get into there from here. Yeah. So I guess I don't need this anymore, really. We need this now? Probably not, right? Let's find out what happens. Oh yeah, that was it. Okay. Alright, now to get the star, we need green for that. No, we need red, right? So it's probably gonna be one of the upper puzzles, so I don't really see any connectors that can connect you from down here. Because we have... on the map. We have 8 out of 8, 2 out of 2, 1 out of 1, I just need the other star. Although... I still don't know what the blue laser connection's about. Let me double check the other side, just make sure it's not a red on the other side or something. I'm not seeing anything up there. Yeah, so it's just blue on that other one side. What does it do, though? Yeah, we can't make that jump, that's for sure. Hmm... Yeah, we didn't have any lasers in here. Decide that that one was like too far away. And I don't really see how we could smuggle anything out of anywhere. Hmm. So yeah, that's just blue. I don't think we can get green from there. I still don't know what that did for us, to be honest. Okay. We can get green from here. The thing is, where do we aim it at? Like, that's already got a connection. Wait, what? I thought I hit something to the left. Oh, that just has a really large radius, I suppose. Yeah, that's got a really large radius for aiming at it.
Can we see anything out from here? Another puzzle, perhaps? I don't see another puzzle entrance. Hmm. Well... I'll just leave this here for now, and we'll see what we can find. I don't think there's a way to get anything out of that. Now it's just a gold puzzle. Is there anything we could do in this one? And does this line up at all? Maybe. Oh, there's connectors in here, that's a good sign. Yeah, no RGB converter, but there are connectors. Yeah, I remember this one. see anything to connect to, though. We, like, we need to connect right over there, right? We don't have any good angles for that here. Yeah, this is... this is no good. We do need one of the lower ones, but I don't see how or what to even connect to for it. Because I don't think there's anything connected to that already, right? And this one's not at a good angle. Plus, I don't think there's even any connectors in here. Yeah, no connectors in that one. Unless they expect us to smuggle something out of a puzzle. Yeah, I don't see anything pre-connected to it. see a purple through there, but maybe just too far away. Maybe it's something that'll make sense once I ascend the tower? I guess we could try ascending the tower and see what happens. I'm just worried it might launch us directly into a cutscene. But I'll try it.
Like, there are these things, but I don't think those are replaced connection points at all. So just kind of how the tower is. Yeah, there's no there's no good angle from there. That is where we need to aim it though. Can't climb this. Game developer said no. Alright, well, let's try to see if we can make sense of this room on top of the tower, maybe. Really? Uh, okay. That works. <laughs> yeah, the tower isn't away from this side. That has potential, maybe. Hmm, maybe. I'll have to consider that. That works. Yeah, that's blue though, and we need red. I don't think... Oh, that puzzle does have red though. Hmm, I really want to test it now. Let's go do that. It'd be quite a trick shot. I need to further in that direction, maybe. No, no, okay. So it's not this. Well, let's light it up with red in various places just in case we might be able to get an angle elsewhere. See what's up here. Cutscene or exploration? Oh, it's a cutscene. Prometheus was bound for many years, his torment seemingly eternal. Until one day, Zeus commanded his son, the great hero Heracles, to free the Titan from the rock. Why did Zeus relent? Zeus knew that his son needed Prometheus' help, because he recognized that he had been wrong. So Noah's punishment should be eternal. I mean, these are all possibilities. I don't remember exactly enough mythology to answer... to know if this is true or false. Yeah, this is one of those things where knowing the more mythology would help with understanding how to answer this.
Uh, these aren't really good answers anyway. I don't know how to choose on this one. Let's go with he recognized he'd been wrong, you know, maybe after a while seeing how the mortals used fire and stuff, maybe he realized it wasn't so bad. If even Zeus himself, who observes the world from the heights of Olympus, is not infallible, then how may any mortal trust their own judgment? Yeah, we have to do the best we can with the information available to us. So you must. But will it be enough? A time of dreams is at hand, creature of clay. To save your friend, you must do as Heracles did. But what will follow, none can see. Achievement, active well, the town to the oasis. Consistent. The mega structure is opening again. All right, everyone. Assemble at the VTOL as soon as possible. Melville, keep an eye on the energy readings, please. All right, well, this is not helping us get that star, so back down we have to go, I suppose. Not seeing anything in here either. Ah, uh, what does that blue laser do? Oh, well, let's go. Let's go mess with the blue laser and see if we can figure out what it's changing, if anything. vantage points from here. Understand. Interesting, you can see the boundary where it decides whether to blink it or not. understand what I'm changing with this. We need red over here, right? Yeah. Even showing up on the compass because it's too so far away.
Like, is it something we have to power it up multiple times with multiple blue lasers? Maybe because it's such a big receiver it needs more input or something? Ah, that's the only thing I can think of. I mean, it's worth a try. I know I had an angle on it in here, I think. Not a good angle, though. Well, it works. I think. Somehow. <laughs> uh... Okay, apparently it's allowed to just go right through solid matter for some reason, but yeah, it is connected. Has that changed anything, though? Definitely seems like it's not an intended way to do it. <laughs> or whatever it is. Up lasers in it, and if so, can I aim at anything on the tower from this side, maybe? in here, aren't there? Wait, what is that? I can hit from the backside? Uh... Yeah, I think that's just the backside of the, uh... The thing that I've already hit. Why, though? <laughs> what does that even do? I still don't know. I can see in here. Maybe we have to break something out of a puzzle? Do some smuggling? Then what puzzle would it be? I didn't see any obvious ones. But there's not very many that have boxes.
maybe this angle could potentially work from the side from over there, maybe? It's kind of unintuitive if so. It wouldn't be the first time one of the triangle puzzles was involved in a star. Well, let's go see what that puzzle has, because I forgot. That's, uh, that's not a good sign. Oh, I can walk up this? Really? Let me walk up this, and only this. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna help at all. And that's just the backside. Nothing there. Nothing any here. Nothing over there. Hmm. Why wouldn't let me put it here even though that would fall? Let's look at this one again. Is there a way I can smuggle a box out of there for starters? That might help us in some way. vantage point, sort of. But I don't see a way for us to smuggle stuff out of here. I mean, that is kind of suspicious. Like, what is this over here? Just platform for the sake of it. <laughs> Interesting. Should uh move this to a better position first.
Excuse me, did I misread how that worked? Huh? Is it just barely on the edge? Okay then. Here we go, finally. Alright. Uh oh. Okay. Can get a box out here. Can we get into another puzzle and use this smuggle a connector out as the thing? In which puzzle? We can also get the other box out of two, I'm pretty sure, but I think we'll wait until we figure out where to go first. to take this box. Well, I know one place we can try and take it, so let's do that first. And just so we have the compass, I'm gonna... in turn, leave again. There we go. Compass returned. barrier is kind of low. Yeah, we still pass through it, though, when, uh, jumping. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I am pretty sure that was soft lock me if I did that. So, uh, let's not do that. You can do that in your playthrough if you want to see what happens. But I'm pretty sure it would not end well. <laughs> okay, then. So clearly, they did not intend us to get these boxes out. But I still don't know what to do is the issue. Just experimenting. 
Let's look at this again, though. Is there anything in here that's like a low enough wall for us to escape over? If we were to somehow get this box inside. Uh, no, these walls are all pretty high. We can't can't jump on this. Won't let us jump from these. Although sometimes it lets us get a box out of there. I mean sometimes it let us put a box on top of it. But even if we did that, hmm. I mean, it's possible. How would we get the box in, though? We do have a backup box, at least. There's even a desert area up here. Hmm. It's not that simple. Uh, chances are not looking good, honestly. And I need three boxes before I can really do anything, so... I'd either have to... Smuggle a box into another puzzle to smuggle two boxes out and then have three boxes total, but... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work for us right now. Game does not want me to be in this little space. Alright. What other puzzles have boxes? Not that one, I don't think. That's the one we got it from. So, what about down here? So we can use the elevator with the boxes, that's good news. I think we already knew that from an earlier episode, like episodes 3 or 4. No, no boxes in this one, right? walls around here either. That other one had some height differences though, right? Yeah. Ooh. Maybe a speedrunner could do that. Or I can! <laughs> issue is, how do I get a connector to this side? I don't know if I could make that jump. Yeah, that's the issue. Now that I have a connector down here, that's a big problem. 
Well, let's see if it's even possible in theory. Because if it is, then I'll have to reset and try it again. It's looking a little bit not doable. Yeah, I think it's not possible anyway. And there's not much of a wall we can walk along here. Yeah, we can get up here, but that doesn't really help us much. Alright. What else do we have around here? walls all around that. Also high walls around here in general. Yeah, it does no good. This one has some height differences in it. Excuse me. Oh. Ooh. Now that's promising. Okay. Okay, okay, this is promising. Compass, please. Thank you. in red, right? Okay, it's selected now. Where can we get red from?
This might work. No idea if it's intended. I don't know what the blue one up there is for, but, uh, <laughs> this works. Is there a third connector around here? Ah, we don't need to worry about it anyway, because we've got fizzlers off into barriers. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, well, we might be able to fix that. No idea if that's intended or not. Probably not. There is again. no tool that is not also a weapon, and no human that would not wield it as one. Cautionary tale. All right, we can go drop off the stars and end off the episode and all that. What were you about? I do not understand. Just to double check. That's all done. 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 And that's all done. All right. You all know I don't share Byron's enthusiasm for the megastructure. I don't know if the Founder really intended for us to be here, and I certainly don't trust this Prometheus entity. But Byron is one of us, and we don't leave people behind. So we're finding Prometheus and freeing him, whether Pandora likes it or not. Here's how this mission is going to go. 1K, it's clear to me that you have some kind of special affinity for this place that the entities respond to you more strongly than they do to us. So, once you're inside, I want you to take point. Do whatever you need to free Prometheus, but remember that our prime objective is to save our friend. Melville, I want you to stay at the VTOL and let Yakut and 1K go in. I'm going to stay behind as protocol requires. I don't love the idea of sitting this one out. Byron is my oldest friend, but we're doing this by the book.
Ooh. Nighttime. Beautiful. Yeah, we can see our lasers on both sides now. Just the far side that we have left after this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode.